hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys I am going to guide you how to troubleshoot this issue wireless capacity is turned off on Windows 11 and 10 so now the step number one is many laptop have physical buttons on their laptop so you need to make sure that you turn this on or off let me show you how it will look like on your Windows as you can see here the physical button should be looking like this see these are the physical buttons also some laptop have physical key as well so you can turn it on from the key as well you can see here like these are the Wi-Fi buttons so make sure you don't turn off your button and if you have done that you can turn it on from here so this is the first step now move on to the next step if this also doesn't help you open the run command simply and type there ncpa.cpl and simply open it and once you open it you should be able to see your Wi-Fi listed here what you need to do is you need to right click on your Wi-Fi go to its properties and select your IPv4 go to its properties and choose this option obtain an IP address automatically and also choose the obtain DNS server address automatically if this also doesn't help you type there 8.8.8 8.8.4.4 all the in the only alternative DNS make sure you leave this as automatic once you click on OK and click on close and you should be able to fix the issue also you can right click here and you can disable it once and once you disable it you can right click then you can re-enable it and by this way the services will be a refresh on our windows also you can right click on it go to its properties go to configure go to power and untick this option save the computer to turn on the power click on ok now see if your issue is fixed or not if your issue is still not fixed so go to here tap the network reset and once you have network reset click on this option and click on reset now and click on yes and thereafter re-enter the password of your Wi-Fi and all the setting will be restored to the defaults and your issue will be fixed also if this step also unable to fix your issue right click on your start menu then click on device manager and we are going into the updating the drivers here from here choose the network this one network adopters right click on your wireless adopter right click update simply search automatically and also you can try the older one from here and click on next and restart your windows I'm pretty sure your issue will be fixed so I hope guys this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching